Oh, hey everybody, uh, I'm just going to quickly go through how to link a um, link a material to your SMD file and your source and all that shit. Um, I'm just going to go from scratch here. So first I'm going to go create a cube, nice simple. Go in there and I'm going to unwrap it real quick. So now it's nice and unwrapped, you can see down there. Um, so back out, I'm going to go into materials, I'm going to give it a new material, I'm going to call it cube underscore mat, without the caps lock, cube underscore mat. Um, this material name is going to be the name of your VMT file. So now I'm going to export this, I uh, better make, create a folder I guess, um, a desktop, new directory, uh, cube, cuba. <coughs> um, so yeah, that'll do. And cube.smd, I'm going to export that. Now I'll go to cuba, cube.smd. I'll just show you here um, this material in Blender, this material name, cube underscore mat. If you open your SMD file in a text editor, I'm going to open it with Notepad++. I don't want to keep that. So cube.smd, you can see here, um, and Notepad++ gives it a nice colour. So you can see here cube underscore mat. You got this is all like headers, all other stuff tells you about more complex shit, but because this is just a static prop, it's only gonna be very simple. And that cube underscore mat is gonna be my material name, and you'll see it runs all the way down for every single vertice, um, because it uses vertex weighted materials, it's gonna name a material. You can change this if you were to go um, change cube mat to cube, for instance, and go replace all. Um, that's now going to tell the source to look for a cube.vmt, not cube underscore mat.vmt. So if you get confused, come in here and have a look at what that is. Sometimes if you use the texture to create your material in Blender, this will have cube.tga or .png, and that means what source is going to do is it's going to, it's going to look for cube.png.vmt, which is a big problem that most people have. So just remember that's going to be your .vmt file, your add vmt on the end of it. So I'm going to just going to leave it as cube underscore mat because I like it. Um, I've already got a QC that I did before, um, nice and simple. It's just normal static prop, model name, blah blah blah. This CD materials is the important line we're looking at, um, and that's going to be that's relative to your materials directory, which will be Half Life Two materials. So you're already in the materials directory when you're describing this line. And then it's going to go models file, uh, models folder, models, and then it's going to go a new folder called tutorial. And then in there, it's looking for a folder called cube. And then in this folder, because I haven't actually defined the file, um, its source will find will use that file path, so it'll find my, oh, it'll find the folder that I just made, and then it'll use the material name from the SMD file, cube underscore mat, and it'll put that on the end of this automatically, and it'll look for cube underscore mat dot VMT. So in my materials file, um, I'm, I'm actually just going to copy another one because I can't be stuffed making one. Um, chair dot diff, that'll do. That looks good. Paste that in there. So, um, and I'm just going to call it, so VMT um, what did I have my material called in Blender? It was cube underscore mat. So, yeah, mat cube underscore mat dot VMT. And then in that mat file, I'm going to go models slash um, vertex generic blaze texture models slash tutorials, isn't it? Oh, stop it. Tutorial slash cube and you're actually telling it which file to look at here so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that called chair underscore diff I don't care chair underscore diff and you don't have to put VTF on there but that is your VTF file if you want to you can for ease of learning I guess so dot VTF but I like to leave it off um, I'm gonna save that so VMT file is telling us to use chair diff and that is that that's your obviously that's your image file um, so now I'll go back into Cuba and I've already got a QC file that I made like I said I'm gonna 
Save that. Oh, shut up. Uh, in Cuba. They call it cube.qc. Um, I'm going to use that other cube file because I've got a thing there that's going to work for me. <coughs> Alright, so I've got my QC file which is telling it where the material is stored and my SMD file which is telling it where what the material is called. And I'm going to compile that. Oh, oh, I haven't made my thing yet. Hold on. So I go back in here. Got to make sure I've created my folder. Models. New folder. Tutorial. New folder. Cube. Oh. Uh, now I'll try that again. There you go. Cube, and there it all is. And another way to check which material, uh, which VMT file your model is looking for is you open up the .mdl file in a text editor, you'll see a bunch of crap. You can scroll right down the bottom, you'll see here tutorial cube cube.model, that's obviously the model file. A bunch of other crap, uh, idle, idle, cube. And then here you'll see cube underscore mat, so that's the VMT file it's looking for. Um, and then you got models, tutorial, cube, that's the material path that it's looking for. So if you're having trouble, just check that, and you might be able. To, you don't. You, if you change that in the model file, I think it stuffs it up. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe you can change it, but I've never tried. But that'll tell you what you compiled your model to look for. Generally, don't change anything in that model file. Um, now we're going to source SDK. I'm going to open up the model viewer. Uh, I'm going to load tutorial cube cube and there you go if you have an error like for instance uh, let's go I wonder if I can change that cube M sat yeah no don't don't touch that <laughs> oops oops let's see if that worked yeah don't don't touch it MDL file that's just a bad idea I'll just recompile it real quick F5 to refresh. So if you go into your materials, see here I've got cube mat.bmt. Say you come up to a problem. That's odd. Why is it doing that? It shouldn't be doing that. But anyway, so it's completely. You can't find the VMT file here. If you go to the model tab. Oh, well, there we go. That's why. See, you'll get that beautiful checker pattern. Go into the model tab, it'll say model attempted to load one or more VMTs it can't find. That's when you go in and go have a look at your MDL file. And it's looking for cube mat, and I've named my VMT cube MDAT. So I'll just typo. And then it's all good. Press F5 to refresh. So that's pretty much all you need to know. As long as in your VMT file, um, it'll your VMT file defines the actual image where they are, and you can use, like, look on the source developer portal and it tells you all about all the other stuff you can do with this as well. Um, I think that should really explain it for anyone who needs to know. Alright, see ya.